The scene is set in a pine forest on the outskirts of the hill station of Shimla. Mr. Oliver, an Anglo-Indian teacher who was still a bachelor, was returning to his school late one night. He had been teaching in this school for several years now. He used to take a stroll into the town in the evening and return after dark while taking a shortcut through the pine forest. Sometimes when there was a strong wind, the pine trees made sad and eerie sounds, fearing which people stayed on the main road. Mr. Oliver was not a nervous or imaginative man. That day, he carried his torch, but the batteries were running down. <coughs> Suddenly, the flickering light fell on the figure of a boy who was sitting alone on a rock. What are you doing out here, boy? Mr. Oliver sensed that something was wrong. The boy seemed to be crying with his head hung down. He held his face in his hands and his body shook convulsively. It was a strange, soundless weeping. Well, what's the matter? What are you crying for? The boy did not look up or answer his question. Come on, boy. You shouldn't be out here at this hour. Tell me the trouble. Look up. The boy looked up and Mr. Oliver's facial expression changed, giving way to horror. The boy did not have a face. It was just a round, smooth ball. It had no eyes, ears, nose or mouth. The torch fell from the teacher's hand and he ran as fast as he could, blindly through the trees, shouting for help. He stumbled up to the watchman, gasping for breath. What is it, Sahib? Has there been an accident? Why are you running? I saw something, something horrible. A boy weeping in the forest, and he had no face. No face, Sahib? No eyes, nose, mouth, nothing. Do you mean it was like this, Sahib? The watchman had no eyes, nose or mouth. That's when the wind blew the lamp out. <laughs> <laughs> 